Weighing in for heaven, May 13th. Let me be weighed in an even balance, that God may know mine integrity. Job 31 verse 6. True measure is everything. It is the very law of God. He puts his law into the least of men's acts and dealings, that learning and living it they may be elevated, ennobled, and sanctified in heart and affection, faithful in the least. God weighs motives, purposes, character. All men are weighed in the balances of the sanctuary, and God would have all realized this fact. Hannah said, The Lord is a God of knowledge, and by Him actions are weighed. 1 Samuel 2 verse 3 David hath said, Men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Psalm 62 verse 9 Isaiah says, Thou, most upright, dost weigh the path of the just. Isaiah 26 verse 7 The God of heaven is true. There is not a motive in the depths of the heart, not a secret within us, not a design that God does not fully comprehend. But what is the standard of justice? God's law. God's law is placed in one scale, His holy immutable law whose claims are specified, taking, in the first four commandments, supreme love to God, and in the last six, love to our neighbor. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and thy neighbor as thyself. Luke 10 verse 27 From this standard, we will not subtract one atom. God requires all the heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love thy neighbor as thyself. This is placed in one scale. While every individual character has to pass the weighing test by being placed in the opposite scale, and by its just comparison, every man's doom is irretrievably fixed. Shall there be written, weighed in the balance and found wanting? If found wanting in the day of God, it will be a terrible thing. Therefore, we want to be closely examining our own motives and actions by the holy law of God to repent of every act of transgression and as sinners lay hold of the merits of Christ to supply the deficiency. The blood of Christ alone will do this. From our high calling, page 139.